Now the next topic is arrays, the relation between arrays and pointers. And as you can see, the arrays and pointers are very much closely interrelated to each other. If I declare an array like this, int ptr 10. So what does it mean? It means we are having 10 continuous memory locations. Okay. So let us just define what is an array initially. So uh, this array. So in this array, we can uh, get con continuous memory allocation of similar data type, right? For example, if I do int a5, right? That means we can, uh, this, we will be given five continuous memory locations and which all these continuous memory locations are of type integer, right? And we can access these memory locations. For example, if I do a0 is equal to 1. That means in this index location zero, we'll get the value one. Okay, so we'll just just graphically let me just uh, draw this one. So if I write int a five, that means this is the variable. This is a, and these are five index locations. Okay, this is the index location zero. This is one, two, three, and four. Right, and when I do a zero is equal to one, that means I'm storing one into this index location zero. When I do a2 is equal to 3, that means I'm storing 2 in this index location. I'm storing 3 in this index location 2, therefore I'm going to store 3 here. Okay. And when I'm saying a4 is equal to 7, that means I'm going to store 7 into this index location 4. So it will store 7. Okay. So if you look closely to this diagram, in most of the books they have given a and this uh, some kind of arrow like this, mm -hmm. and they have which arrow that arrow is pointing to this array. Okay, so now let us uh, dig de uh, go deep into this topic and let us see what are arrays in real. Okay, so for example, we are having this program int ptr10, right? Here that means I'm declaring an array and this array is of type integer, right? And whenever I say ptr10, most of the students confuse that this ptr is the name of this array, right? But this ptr is not the name of this array. This PTR is a pointer which is pointing to the base address or the starting address of these memory locations, continuous memory location more precisely, which are given to this array. Okay. So uh, if you look at this diagram, you'll see when I'm saying PTR 10, right? When I'm saying PTR 10, that means we have given some continuous memory locations and this PTR is pointing to the base address of this array. Here I am assuming that the integer is of two bytes. So when the integer is of two bytes, that means every index location, uh, the size of every index location is of two bytes because it, it, all these index locations are now, go now going to store uh, any integer number. So if I just number the index location, this is index location zero, this is index location one, this is index location two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So if I set int ptr10, that means I have given this uh, continuous memory allocations. If the base address of this array is 1000, so plus if I, uh, this because it's an integer array, so this size of this box will be 2 bytes. That means next memory lo location will be at location 1002. That means 1000 plus 2 bytes, which is 1002. And the next memory allocation will be at location 1004. The next memory lo allocation will be at location 1006. The next memory allocation will be at location 1008 and so on. That means we are adding two bytes to each index location. Okay. Now, if the size of an integer is four bytes in your machine, in that case, every box here, every all these index location will take four bytes, will consume four bytes. So address of this next index location will be 1004, address of this uh, next index location will be 1008 and so on. Okay. So here I assume this, this uh, base set of this, this array is 1000. Okay. Now let us see more examples here. So uh, in this program, I've taken an array and this, uh, the size of this array is five. That means I, I'm going to store five different integer numbers in this array. So let us suppose the numbers which are stored are zero, nine, six, eight, and seven. So therefore, these values are stored here at location 0, 9, 6, 8, and 7. This is index location 0, index location 1, 
2, 3, 4 and these are pointed by this A. Okay. Now if the base address of this array is 1000 then and here the size of integer is 2 bytes. Okay. So the address of this location will be 1002. The address of this location will be 1004. The address of this location will be 1006. The address of this location will be 1008, etc. Okay. Now in the next line, uh, okay. Now this A is now going, going to store 1000. In the next line, I have taken a pointer and I am equating it with, by, with A, right? That means there is a pointer P, right? And I am storing the value of which is stored by A into P. That means I am copying the value. So this value uh, which is stored in A is 1000 which is an address. So I am storing 1000 into this pointer. Okay. Now in the next line I am using printf percent u comma A. So this percent u is uh, used to print unsigned integer. So we can also print the addresses with using this percent u and this addresses will be printed in decimal format. Okay. Now here I am printing A. Therefore, this statement is going to print 1000, which is the base address of this array. In the next statement, I am doing a plus 2. So, when I am doing a plus 2, this statement is equivalent to saying a is equal to a. Uh, this statement is equivalent to saying a plus 2 into size of integer. So, I just covered this topic again because I have not even covered this topic in the previous sessions. So there's something called as a scalar value. Okay. So what is scalar value? If for example, we are having a character A. Okay. And then we are having character pointer character star P is equal to address of A. Okay. And the size of characters of one byte obviously. So if this is A and the address of this A is 1000 and this, this is P which is pointing to this array that means P is 1000. Now if I do P is equal to P plus 1. Right. So when I am doing P plus 1 that means this is equivalent to P is equal uh, to P plus 1 into size of character. Okay. And the size of character is 1 byte. So therefore this uh, will increment as P is equal, uh, equal to P plus 1 into 1. Okay, so this will increment it to 1001 location, right? Now instead of this one, if I would have written as x, then the equation will become p is equal to p plus one, uh, uh, p is equal to p plus x into size of character, right? Now, what if we are having this pointer? We are having float a comma star p is equal to address of a. Okay, that means P is a pointer which is storing the address of A. So let us suppose this is A and the address is 2000 and this is the pointer P which is storing 2000. Now if I do P is equal to P plus 2, right, then this size of this float is 4 bytes. So this equation will now become P is equal to P plus 2 into size of float. Because this is a scalar value. What is the scalar value? Scalar value of a pointer is given by the data type. That means what type of the pointer is. That means is, is the pointer of character type, is a pointer of integer type, is a pointer of floating point type, is a pointer of double type. So we will just take the value of, uh, we will just take the um, size of that data, data variable. That means if it is a character uh, variable, then I am going, uh, going to do p is equal to p plus uh, whatever x into size of character then it will be multiplied by size of point uh, integer size of double number uh, double and floating point number etc okay so that means we are going just going to increment by the size of that pointer so here coming back to this program here we are having a plus 2 right and the value stored by a is 1000 so when i am printing a plus 2 that means it is now going to in, uh, increment this by 2 into size of integer Right, so that is that means size of integers of when the size of integers of uh, two bytes. Therefore, this is now going to print one thousand 
plus 2 into 2 which is equal to 1004 therefore this is now going to print 1004 okay now in the next line we are having but uh, in the previous line we are not actually changing the value stored in the, at this uh, pointer a okay we are just printing that increased value okay in the next statement we are having star of a plus 2 so when i am having star of a plus 2 that means because of this star I'll go to the location which is pointed by A, right? So the location pointed by A is 1000. So here uh, this star means star of 1000 plus 2 which is equal to the value stored at the location 1000 is 0. So that means 0 plus 2 which is equal to 2, okay? So I'll just write it clearly here. So this is now going to print the output as 2. This statement is going to print the output as 1004. This statement is going to print the output as 1000 okay now in the next line we are printing the value stored at the index location 2 right so the value stored at the index location 2 is 6 therefore it is now going to print 6 so this statement will print 6 okay in the next line we are having a plus 4 so when i am doing a plus 4 that means i am incrementing the i am printing the increased value of a by 4 into scalar uh, scalar multiple of a so it is a plus 4 means a plus 4 into size of integer here right so that means the size of integer is 4 uh, 2 bytes therefore it will become 1000 plus 4 into 2 so this is now going to print 1008 so this will print 1008 okay in the next statement, I am doing star of a plus 2. So this is the complete star. There is a difference between these two statements. Okay. So when I did star a plus 2, that means uh, this star is only associated with this a, but here this star is associated with complete this a plus 2. Right. So this statement is now star of 1000 plus 2. And when I'm adding 1000, uh, this 2 here, that means I'm multiplying it by the size of integer. Therefore, this statement will become star of 1000 plus 2 into size of integer, which is 2 bytes. Therefore, star of 1000 plus 4, that means star of 1004. And the value stored at the location 1004 is 6. Therefore, this statement is now going to print 6. Okay. Now, in the next line, we are incrementing P by 2, right? So, for example, initially P was pointing to the base of address that is 1000. Now, when I did P is equal to P plus 2, that means I am going to increment it by the scalar value of integer. That means the statement is equal to P is equal to P plus 2 into size of integer. So, which is 1000 plus 2 into 2, which is 1004. Therefore, P is now going to print at the location 1004. Therefore, P is now point pointing this location 1004. Okay. In the next line, I am doing star p. Star p means I am going to go to this location 1004 and I am going to print the value stored at the location 1004. Therefore, it is now going to print 6. In the next statement, I have star of p plus 1. That means this star is only associated with this p. So, star of p plus 1 means I will go to this location 1004, take the value which is 6 and I will do 6 plus 1 which is 7. Therefore, this is now going to print 7. Now the next line, this star is associated with the complete statement p plus 1, right? So in this statement, it is now going to print star of p, which is 1000 plus, uh, sorry, this is not 1000 because p is storing 1004. So star of uh, 1004 plus 1 into size of int, right? So this statement is now star of 1004 plus 2 which is equal to star of 1006 therefore we will print the value stored at the location 1006 therefore it will print 8 okay now take uh, some more examples here 